I'm Amanda Collins, and I have the lovely Jack Smith doing a more advanced version, and Natalie Go doing the regular version of this beginner ballet class. Let's get started right at the bar. Here we go. So our first exercise, we're going to start in first position. So you want to make sure that you're rotating from the tops of your legs, not from your knees or your feet, and have some nice rotation. And you're going to paint the floor with your foot. Pretend it's like a giant tongue licking the floor from a nice, beautiful demi point all the way to a point. And then you're going to turn it in. And you're going to use those rotator muscles and turn that leg back out. And you're going to nicely close it back. And then you're going to brush it forwards again. You're going to go nice into a demi plie, which is a half plie. And you're going to slide that leg back, leading with your baby toe edge of your foot and stretch your legs. And then we do the same thing to the side. We go to the side, we turn it in, we turn it out, and close, and side, demi plie, squeeze your inner thighs. To the back, turn it in, turn it up, and close. To the back, demi plie, squeezing it in. Then we're gonna roll through our feet, we plie, we push our arches over our toe. You wanna have a nice alignment of your knees over your second toe on demi point. You're gonna rise up to beautifully straight legs, the highest demi point that you can do. Lower down, and then you can do that again. Plie, roll through your feet, rise up, lower down. You do the same thing on the left side. Beautifully licking the floor, turning it in, out. Then you close, and then front, demi plie, leading with that baby toe to close and straighten. Backs to the side, and in. And out, and close, side, demi plie, squeeze those inner thighs to the back, turn it in, turn it up, and close to the back, demi plie, try to lead this time with your heel coming closed, and then the same thing, plie, push your arches over, rise up, and down, and plie, push those arches, rise up, and then we're going to bring our arms down to the bottom, you're going to bring them up the sides, and then you're going to hear a bird in the distance. And then, oh wait, there's another bird over there. And you're just going to keep changing your arms from one side to the other side, because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, here we go. Thank you. Starting in first. Start. And then we bring it through 
first position, and then open to second. We're gonna do a demi-plie. Our heels stay down on a demi-plie, and then we straighten our legs, and then we rise up, we extend our arm, and we lower, and we plie. We stretch, we rise, we lower. Now we do a full plie. You're gonna pretend you're an elevator going down. Your back spine stays straight up and down. We don't wanna tip forwards. We don't wanna lean back. We wanna keep it nice, straight and up and down. And we place our heels back on the floor as soon as we can. And then we fully straighten our legs. Then we do a quarter bra forwards. A quarter bra is basically a lovely stretch forwards. We roll up, we bring our arm to fifth. We open it to the side, back to second. And then we turn you to second position where we repeat the exact same sequence. Dead in the air, and stretch, rise, and lower up again. Plie, stretch, rise, and lower, full plie. One, two, three, four, and second. Our heels stay down the whole time. The only reason we lift our heels in a full plie is because we have to to get to our biggest depth. In second, we can go all the way down without lifting our heels, so keep them planted. Then we do a porta bra into our bar. And then we open it up. And then we tendu to fourth position. So fourth position, my front heel is in alignment with my back toe, if possible. And you wanna have enough space between your legs. A good way to check to see if you have enough space between your legs is stand with your legs with a part, nice. And now just rotate. That is your fourth. You don't want to have it too big. You don't have it too small. You want the Goldilocks. <laughs> so you want to have that beautiful placement of the separation of your feet and fourth. Hip width, but rotate it. So kind of get that feeling in your body before you start the exercise so you know where you're going to go. Here we go. We do the same exercise. We plie, we stretch, we rise. We lower again and plie, stretch, rise, lower. We're not going to do a full plie. We're instead going to quarter bra away from the bar. Bring your arms through first position. You're going to rise up if you can without touching the bar. It's a little challenge for you. Rise up and you're going to open your arms to a beautiful third arabesque. I call it the shark. Third arabesque. And then we close to fifth or third position. So this one, we try to get our back heel and toes touching. There's usually some space. <laughs> but we try, and we try to get our legs nice and turned out before we start moving. And we plie, we stretch, we rise, and lower again, and plie, stretch, and rise, and lower. Full plie, again, your heels only come up because they have to, and you try to get them down as soon as possible. Then you bring your arm down, up to fifth position. Beautiful, quarter breath back. Bringing it back up, and then to finish, we cross our legs together nice and tight, and we balance. I like to call this the unileg. <laughs> it's you're trying to make a single leg, and you're squeezing them together as much as you possibly can. Unileg. All right, I think we're ready. You guys ready? Dummy, rise, dummy, rise, fall. Here we go. Thank you. Bring your eyes to first. Open to second. And dummy. Possible. And quarter forward. 
thighs. Pretend you're being pulled up through a straw. Relax your shoulders. I like to do a checklist here. Is my core engaged? Are my ribs down? Are my shoulders relaxed? And am I smiling? <laughs> Beautiful. Love the gaze. And that was your plies. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit rewind and you're going to do the other side, starting with your right hand on the bar. But now we come to tendus. So for tendus, we're going to directly go to a tendu from fifth position today. Uh, fifth is where my heel is trying to align to my back toe. And then again, I'm trying to limit the amount of space here by rotating from the tops of my hip. I'm not trying to wing my foot backwards because that'll do some funky things to our knees. We need these for the rest of our lives, so be careful. Rotate from the tops of those hips. If fifth is a challenge for you, you're welcome to work from third. Third is less overcrossed. Um, we will have Jack doing the fifth position and we will have Natalie doing third. All right, so here is the exercise. We're gonna begin with our arm through first and then open to second. If you find the arms confusing, put it on the hip. I'm gonna do the hip version. Natalie's going to do the arm, and then Jack will be doing the advanced version where she will have her arm changing directions depending on where her legs go. That's for those of you that want to watch this a few times. <laughs> but for me, and for us, hand on the hip. Here we go. We go Tom and do front, demi plie, front, no plie. Then we go through what's called coup de pied. So you'll see that I'll go through a demi point to a point I point at my ankle bone on my foot. I extend slowly and then I close. We do the same thing to the side. Side with a plie closing behind. Side, no plie closing in front. Demi point to our point, extend, close behind. Same thing to the back. Back with a plie, back, no plie. Demi point to point. Extend, slowly close, and we change to the other leg, our inside leg. We go front, close, side, close, back, close, side, and close. That's called en croix. En croix is basically, you're making a cross, en croix. <laughs> so you go front, side, back, side. In reverse, you do the exact same. You'd go back, Side, front, side. All right, now we reverse the whole exercise. Back with a plie, back, no plie. Through our coup de pied, extend, slowly, close. Side with a plie, side, no plie. Coup de pied, extend, slowly, close. Front with a plie, front, no plie, coup de pied, extend, slowly, close, on claw, reverse, back, and side, and front, and side, and finish. All right, we're ready for the music. Fifth position, third position, regular arms, advanced arms. Here we go. Thank you, ladies.
Now it's going to do the other side. Rewind it, play it again, and then join us. Great. Time now for our dégagé. So dégagé is just like our tongues. We want to make sure we're painting the floor with our feet, but we're pushing so hard with our feet that our foot magically comes off the ground. <laughs> you want to make sure you're getting all the way to your extension for that point of toe, and again, that the leg line is nice and straight through that second toe. No banana feet. Nobody likes bad banana feet. <laughs> Keep it beautifully pointed, no sickles. So the exercise here, this is a, a one to test how well you can count. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, it's a great one. It's gonna work your inner thighs. You also have to make sure you're feeling your core engaged in this exercise and that you're really pulling up because your legs are gonna be moving a lot underneath you. So we're gonna do eight in each direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tip the back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Outside leg one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inside leg for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now for four. Two, three, four, four to the back. Two, three, four, four to the side. Two, three. Four and inside. Here it comes for two. And two. And two. And two. For one. 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 One and one. One. One and one. The ones are a little challenging. You got this though. Ready, ladies? Eights, fours, twos, one, and an extra set of one because it's hard. Here we go. <laughs> Rising up, fondue 
side, stretch and then back and around. We fond you back, we stretch to the side, we fond you front, we lower it down, we put a rough forwards on straight legs. Six, we roll up seven, we close to fifth. The next one, it's a chance for you to breathe and to enjoy. It's called a circular corte bras. So we start by beginning at this corner and then we come all the way straight down. We roll through to the side. Our arm is in a beautiful fifth position at the side. We go around hitting every corner in the room. It's hard to talk upside down. <laughs> and then we bring our arm through fifth. Then we reverse it. We open ourselves up. We say hello to the ladies in the balcony. We bring ourselves around. We come through the side. Again, that beautiful fifth position arm in our side. We hit that front corner. We come all the way straight down. And we bring our arm up to the side. Technically speaking, you're making a giant circle on the ceiling in one direction and then the other. Then we're going to pour the rock into our bar. Just nice and simple. Then we open it up and then we pour the rock away from our bar, and we bring it in, we plie, we releve our unileg. <laughs> we plie, we releve that unileg again, and then we plie and we bring our leg up to passe. You can do this on demi point or on flat. My foot is either at the base of my, of my knee there or higher, <laughs> if you can. There's some people out there that have some wonderful hips. Use them. We don't want it anywhere in this zone. I like to call this part of my leg the no man's land because nothing we do in ballet goes in here, either at my ankle bone or my knee or higher. So we go to our passe, hand on your hip or in first position, and then we balance. So fondue, releve, fondue, releve, fondue, stretch, and one circle around. Fondue, stretch, fondue, lower, put a back. You do the whole thing in reverse. Eight count circular quarter bra, it's really slow, so you can enjoy it. <laughs> and then you reverse, luxuriate in that beautiful quarter bra, and then into your bar, and then away from your bar, plie, unileg, unileg, <laughs> passe, and done. Ready, ladies? Thank you.
back to this exercise. This one, tip here, breathe. So we're gonna do what's called a devlope. Devlope is you're developing your leg. And as we progress over time, our legs become higher and higher. The more we do devlope, the more strength we build. So if you're a beginner, I recommend keeping your legs lower to start so you can slowly build up the right placement of your leg. So here we go. I'm gonna put my hand on my hip just so you can follow my legs. So we begin by peeling our foot again through that coup de pied position up to a passe. This is for two counts. Then we go to an attitude to the front for two counts. So an attitude, you want your thigh to the side and you want to be able to put a teacup on your ankle at the front. I don't have that perfect of turn out, so my teeth come kind of tips a little, that's okay. And then you're going to extend it all the way, and then you're going to lower it down. You will notice that this leg should not have bent at all. Then we do the same thing to the side. We go one, two, attitude, three, four, extend, five, six, lower, seven, close, eight. Eight counts. Now we cut the time in half for four counts. We go one, two, three, close, four, and one, two, three, close, four. Then you're gonna do a beautiful port de bras to the side, and you're just gonna shake it out and roll back to get ready for reverse. Eight counts to the back. One, two, attitude, three, four, extend, five, Six, lower, seven, close, eight, to the side, one, two, attitude, three, four, extend, five, six, seven, close, eight, for four counts, one, two, three, four, try to make it smooth on the four counts, one, two, three, four, put a bra away, two, three, four, and then shake it out at the bottom, and you're done. <laughs> All right, ladies. Thank you. Peeling those toes off the ground. One, two, attitude, three, four, extend, five, six, top, seven, close, eight to the side. Peel those toes. Attitude, extend, really pointing to the end of those toes. Half time for one. Two, then rise, then lower, two, 
then rise, hold it there, and just a little coup de pied balance. Then you lower and reverse. That's the trickiest part. <laughs> Going from a pointed foot back to that flex foot, I'm working my heel to push it forward so I lower with turnout. Then we do the same thing. Back and side and front and side. On fondue, back and side and front and side. Two to the back, back and up, side and up, front and up, coup de pied, and then we'll balance here. So you can do this on the debit point. Again, my heel is pushing forwards. No banana feet, you're not resting your leg. This foot's not chilling out. <laughs> what I see a lot in beginner dancers is they just kind of like push it against the leg. Really point that foot and keep it working. All right, ladies. Here we go. Thank you.
went down our bar. Yay! <laughs> well, hello, beautiful dancers. We have now made it into the center. Um, here we are in Harbor Dance Center. Time for some ballet center. All right. So we're going to begin with one leg in front. We're going to open our arms on the intro of the music through first position and then open to a beautiful second. You're going to taunt you to this side and close behind. Then the other leg, side, close the hump. Then you're going to go side through a deep plie in second, thinking of those thighs opening to the side, knees over your second toe, taunt you and close. Then the other way, side, close, side, close, side, deep plie second, side and close. The pattern changes here. We go front, close, side, close, back, releve. Then we go front and side and back and releve. Now we do the same thing with traveling forwards. We go front and front and side, plie, side, close behind. Front and front, side, plie, close behind. Now we start to the back, back and side and front, releve, and back and side and front, releve, and then we'll finish here. All right, are we ready? And Brush it through to the front. 
and then we're going to close. We're going to repeat on the other side. First, third area back, up to fifth, open, chassis forwards, circular port de bras, down through this side, around to the back, and then close. We change to the young fast, we double peg to the side, we lower our foot, we step to the other corner, we lift our leg to the back, we brush it through to the front, and we close. That is the first section of our choreography. Let's try the first section. We'll be adding on from there after. All right, now we're ready to try with the music. Here we go, first section. Nice breath to the end. And close those arms. And here we go. Arms through first. First. To third. Up to fin. And open. Chassis forward. Circular port de Closing fin. Double pain to the side. Lowering it down into our arabesque. Brushing through and close. Arms to third, up to fifth, and open. 
chassis forwards, doing that beautiful circular quarter brata, hitting every single quarter of the room. And we close, then we double pay to the side. We lower that foot down, we tondu, change to the corner, we bring our arabesque and we brush it through. Here's a section, second section. <laughs> we beret around, two, three, four, and then we side to side, and then we do four spring points. Then we beret around to the other side, and we bring our arm from one side to the other side, and and now we'll try it with the dick. Here we go. Thank you.
be sure to rewind it. You can play it over as many times as you like before we learn our fourth section leading to our grand finale. All right, now we're ready to learn section four. All right, so we just finished our beautiful checking out our lovely leg and fix, and then we close. Now you're gonna step to the side and you're gonna bring your arms up as if you're an Olympic gymnast. <laughs> so over to the side, feel nice and proud. You're gonna step behind yourself and you're gonna say hello to everybody over there in that corner. Then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Olympic gymnast, step back behind and then hello to everyone in this corner. After that, you're gonna have a ton of time for you to just dance in your living room, being the best ballerina you can be with all the things you learned in this class. You're just gonna freestyle until the end of the song. A few counts before the end of the song, I'll be sure to cue you. What you're gonna do is you're going to chasse forwards, go back on a knee. You're gonna bring your arms up your beautiful swan arms, and then you're going to extend your front leg, and you're going to finish here. And that is the whole piece. All right, let's do section four with the music. Here we go.
much for joining us. We look forward to having you at Harbor Dance Center. Our classes are for everyone, all skill levels, all people, all humans, and we look forward to welcoming you in our space and in our hearts soon. Thank you.